Uh, I'm in favor of nuclear power. I think it's uh, in, in a place that is not subject to extreme natural disasters. I think it's uh, nu nuclear power is a great way to generate uh, electricity. Imagine a car with nuclear power that can travel 8,000 kilometers in just one charge until it reaches the next fuel station. Sounds pretty crazy, but it does have a lot of potential and possibility to become true. This car attracts special attention, especially from Elon Musk, because the tech giant is a huge supporter of nuclear energy, and certainly he won't lose out on the opportunity of this game to other opponents. So, what's so groundbreaking about this nuclear-powered car? And how is Tesla gonna make it happen? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Since the 1800s, human activities have been a major driver of climate change. About 24% of emissions are caused by transport, mainly due to the use of petrol and diesel. The government is now aiming to achieve net zero emissions by 2050. To achieve this, they are accelerating efforts towards the use of electric vehicles. Although it is believed that electric vehicles reduce carbon emissions, there are challenges that need to be addressed. By some estimates, charging an electric vehicle at night in coal-dependent areas can generate more emissions than a gasoline-powered car. Nuclear energy could address these challenges. It is a low-carbon source of energy can be used to supply charging stations and lower the dependency on fossil fuels. This is an opportunity for small modular reactors to supply on-road charging facilities to tackle range anxiety for electric car drivers. Nuclear-powered cars aren't a new idea, however. In the 50s, Ford came up with a Ford Nucleon concept car. Ford envisioned a future where cars would run on nuclear power, using uranium rather than petrol or diesel to create a process of nuclear fission. It may sound bizarre at first, but nuclear submarines work in the same exact way, just on a much larger scale. There would be a nuclear fission reactor in the back of the car that would power an electric motor. Each micro-reactor could have a lifespan of about 8,000 kilometers before it had to be swapped out for a new one, 17 times more than Tesla's range. So instead of getting an oil change, you'd get a reactor change. They even planned for different types of reactors that produced different levels of power, meaning you could go for a low-powered car for half a year and then upgrade to a faster one at the end of that reactor's life. As for the power source, Ford envisaged something called a power capsule that would sit in the trunk of the Nucleon. This reactor would be easily serviced and refueled and would generate power to move the car via electronic torque converters. It is said that every technology has its flaws, much like every rose has its thorns, and the Ford Nucleon was no exception. Researchers have pointed out that one flaw would be inefficiency, due to the string of energy conversions which involve thermal energy, to mechanical energy, to electrical energy, and finally back to mechanical energy to drive the wheels. Another problem that would need to be addressed is safety during a collision or car crash. Although the small nuclear reactor at the back of the vehicle would have strong shielding, there might be a possibility of radiation leaks or overheating in the event of a crash. This would be a major concern for the general population if the vehicle was driven on the road. However, nuclear energy has improved greatly since the 50s, so could this mean that we're actually able to build a nuclear-powered car these days? Starting up coal plants and shutting down nuclear plants just doesn't make any sense. Coal plants like, I don't know, 100 to 1,000 times worse for, for health than nuclear power plants. There is no denying the power of nuclear energy when used in car engines. If it is used in practice, the end result could be an affordable, high-performance car that could last for centuries without refueling. Moreover, 
it will surpass all conventional car manufacturers and even change the world. That means no more oil crises, power grid is more stable, and furthermore, emissions will be reduced to zero in the coming years. A more up-to-date proposal for a nuclear car was made back in 2009. It was called the Cadillac World Thorium Fueled Concept Car. It would run for over 100 years with little to no maintenance, which means a five times longer span of life than Tesla but its price is much more expensive. Thorium would be a good choice as it's less radioactive and more plentiful than other nuclear fuels, like uranium. If a nuclear-powered car were to come out, it would look nothing like the 1950s Ford Nucleon. Instead, it'd be a sleek hatchback. Also, unlike Tesla, nuclear cars would only need refueling every three to five years. The steering wheel would be positioned horizontally, similar to the one in a truck or a 1959 British Mini. As fossil fuel resources continue to decline, this technology may be used more extensively in the market. Indeed, people are now gradually moving towards nuclear-powered cars because of the great effects on the vehicle industry. But does that mean Tesla can do it as well as the world's largest automaker? The CEO of Tesla said, not only not shut down the nuclear power plants, it should reopen the ones that shut down. And those are, the, those are the fastest ones to restart. It's crazy to shut down nuclear power plants. Tesla's CEO Elon Musk is totally on board when it comes to nuclear energy. This shows that he has a great interest in nuclear energy and may also be secretly working on this project. Nuclear is clean and it provides pollution-free power with no greenhouse gas emissions. It'll help Musk achieve his goal of zero carbon with low-cost cars. Moreover, nuclear power generates energy all year round, so you won't have to depend on the grid. If the dream of a nuclear-powered car comes true, this will bring huge revenue as well as benefits for Tesla in the next few years. Musk says he has too much on his plate, and more work may just result in his brain exploding. Thus, he can do it in 2050 when all future products like Cybertruck, the Semi, and the Tesla bot Optimus are successfully launched. Now, he seems more occupied with ramping up the cost efficiency and speed of Tesla's batteries than finding a new way entirely. Then again, we don't know what he has in development, so there's always the potential that we'll see a nuclear-powered Tesla vehicle one day. So, how do you feel about Tesla's nuclear-powered car, and do you think it'll appear in 2050, or maybe sooner? How about that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.